hi everyone today i want to demonstrate how to assemble flip zone baby cradle and this is the packing and uh, for this we need a nose player a screwdriver and 10 number spanner and let's open the package and see what's there inside the package and you can see that there are four ties they have provided with locking system and uh, we can see the main package and i will remove the package and see what's there inside and these are the main legs of the cradle and this is the mosquito net and uh, the base of the mosquito net is this rod so let's keep it aside and now this is the one side of the cradle this and you can see one, another side of the cradle that blue color part over there and uh, this is a very new beautiful teddy bear we can i will show clearly where every part will attach and this is the main cradle basket and it's very premium and very good quality and the cushioning also very nice and you can see over here and our main task is to assemble these parts so you can see our small rods are provided by the manufacturer and uh, these two rods are main and more and most important and you can see the main legs are attached to the sides of the cradle as i said earlier you see carefully all nuts and bolts are provided by the seller and which are easily attachable with the tools i have mentioned earlier and i have attached this base and now the base is ready and you should tight carefully so that it should tight properly so now i am showing where the mosquito net is attachable and you can see there is a provision provided over here and uh, you should keep that uh, nut in the hole so let's remove these bolts two bolts and let's fix the rod over there you can see here also i am uh, removing both sides and the blue part which is over there this rod should sit in that blue part so that it is stable so i am i am switch, i am keeping here also you can see over there and uh, it should sit in that hole and in that tray so that it will be stable then i am keeping the bolt back and i will tie it the with the yellow one yellow yellow screw again so that it will be a lock nut this side also i am keeping as it is same so now i am taking a 10 number spanner and i am tightening because it should be more stable and now this is the main cradle which should be fixed there with the help of two small legs as i said that one so that should be sit in that blue color part like that so that it will it will be very free and it's a circular motion there and they have provided a track over there so that it will move here and there and now we should tie these bolts also because that that is the main main uh, support to the cradle so that we should tie the ball bolts properly so i am keeping this side also like this you can see over there that is the swing motion so now we should fix the cradle there they have provided two holes to cradle each side so that we just want to keep like that and we will keep this side also in that holes provided like this and we will tighten the bolts every bolt is provided by the manufacturer i am saying once again and you should tight carefully every bolt you should check the tightness because it's very important because it's the child safety because if you forget to tight the any bolt then it will be very dangerous friends please keep it in mind and check properly while tightening so now i am just keeping the cradle to the base as shown earlier so you can see it's very easy and it's a very sturdy now you can see i am keeping this set so now the cradle is ready and now i am checking the sturdiness it's very fine and I, now i can keep the mosquito net to keep safe our child from the mosquitoes 
so it's also very good friends it's very beautiful and colorful and now as i said the we can keep the teddy bear here they have provided a velcro there so that it will be sit easily so they have provided one more mesh type cloth which is fixed uh, to the leg of the cradle like this they have provided a cushion uh, they are provided a hole there so that we should fix like this for that we need to remove the one side of the leg any side you can remove this side or that side i am removing this side now as shown in the video so once again i took the screwdriver and uh, and i just simply insert that rod in that hole you can see over there so that it will be fixed and now again i am replacing the leg part and the side of the cradle and i have full tightened this cradle and i now i am fixing in the other side you can see over there you can see i think this extra mesh part is provided for the beautiness of the uh, cradle and one more thing it is very uh, safety also if at all the cradle slipped from that jaws then it will protect far from falling down i think is the main reason and now we will keep the all the four tires which are provided to the holes provided in the bottom of the cradle as shown in the video you can see clearly it's a local lock system and whenever you don't want to move here and there then you can lock the tires you should press properly so that it will fix in the holes in the same way i have fixed in the four holes and now the cradle is ready you can see very beautiful friends very very beautiful please like the video and you can see you can see here it's a movable and it's a lockable as i said you just see there and this is the rope provided to move the cradle from long distance and your child is very happy that's it friends hope you like the video if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel see you on bike